Hey guys, what's up? It's JRP77 from JGN Games. I want to wish you guys all a late Happy New Year, and today we are going to be modifying one of my older tutorials to make a more realistic gun, so stick around. The Unity Asset Store is one of the most valuable resources I have ever come across with game development, allowing you to prototype your game or to add cool effects you didn't even know you could make with Unity. Check it out using the link in the description below. Alright guys, I need to apologize before I start this tutorial. I realized today that I haven't made a tutorial in a whole year. I know, right? It's so crazy! But regardless of that, in this week's episode, I'm kind of fulfilling a promise that I never really fulfilled back when I made my original How to Make a Gun tutorial a couple years ago. I say that I was working on a tutorial about making the gun spread so that the gun isn't just extremely accurate all the time. I mean, how fun would a game be if all you had to do was look at the enemy and click a button and boom, they're dead. But honestly, I never really started working on that, so basically we're going to be making a gun inaccurate today on purpose. Without further ado, let's jump right back where we left off. So basically all I've got in this scene is a gun, but other than that, the scene is completely empty. Also, there's a script on the gun that makes it fire and stuff, and if you'd like to download the gun that I'm using in my project because it looks absolutely dope, then go check out the link in the description below. Also, I'm using the exact same script in this tutorial that I made in the last tutorial on this subject, so if you'd like to learn how this script works, click on the card on the screen right now, but if you're just flat out lazy like me, there will be a link in the description to download the script, but I do highly recommend watching the original tutorial to understand how the scripts actually work. We won't be messing with these scripts themselves, but using an exterior script on the barrel object so that it doesn't mess with our shooting mechanism. The only things I've done in between tutorials is I added in a very basic crosshair to show that our gun is now inaccurate, and I made the fired variable on the gun script public so that we can access it from other scripts. Let's make a new C sharp script called recoil and then double click on it to open it in our code editor. First of all, let's define our variables. We'll first reference the gun script so that we can know if it's firing or not. We don't want the barrel just rotating endlessly while we fire, but to only become inaccurate when we are firing. Then, we'll make two public float variables to serve as the maximum amount that the barrel can rotate. It would not be fun nor physically possible to be aiming your gun at the enemy and then hit your teammate standing right next to you. Finally, we're going to make two more private minimum variables that we are going to set in the start function. So let's just go ahead and get started. And in the start function, we are going to assign the gun script variable by finding it in the parent. This could be very useful for incorporating these scripts into a multiplayer game where everyone has a similar setup. We'll do this by using get component in parent. Also, let's set the minimum variables by multiplying the maximum variables by negative one. This will ensure that our gun is inaccurate on both sides of the crosshair. Now in the update function, we are going to check and see if the gun is firing. We can check the fired variable on the gun script by writing gun script.fired. Now that we set the conditions for firing, let's go ahead and make this gun realistic. We're going to be use, using Euler's angles to make this work, as we cannot set the transform.rotation variables directly. To start off, we'll create a new vector 3 called Euler and set it equal to the barrel object's Euler angles. I always keep saying Euler or Euler, I'm pretty sure it's Euler. Then we'll set the x variable equal to a random.range statement to make the rotation of the barrel change randomly. This is an extremely useful clause and if you'd like to see my previous video on this subject, click on the card on your screen right now to check that out. We'll copy and paste this line again, but we'll change all the variables to their y-axis equivalent, and finally we'll write the inverse of our first statement so that the angles are set. Now, let's go back into Unity and drag the script onto our barrel object. Before this could work, we need to assign the variables. I'm going to set max x and max y to 1.5 as I feel this adequately fits for a fully automatic rifle. In order for us to see the bullet path in action, click on the gizmos button so that the line will pop up. In the gun script, I've made a debug.drawRay statement, so that's why I'm doing this, but if you don't have that, it's completely fine. Now hit the play button and hold down your left mouse button to see the effect. You can see that every time the gun shoots, the bullet path changes slightly, all thanks to our script. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If this video sucks, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, all of those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.